Resonance is an amazing phenomenon in physics that occurs when the driving force is oscillating at the same frequency that the object naturally oscillates at. In other words, resonance occurs when the driving frequency is equal to the natural frequency of the object. And what I have here are two pendulums of different lengths and a shaker tape. So this table, as you'll see in a second, vibrates back and forth. So what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the natural frequency of these two pendulums, and then we'll shake it at that frequency. So let's first measure the lengths of the pendulums. And going from the center of mass to where the string's attached, that's about 18 centimeters. Same thing here, center of mass to where the string's attached, about 10 centimeters. So let's write that down. So the length of the long string we had at 18 centimeters, or 0.18 meters. The length of the short string, 0 0.10 meters, so 10 centimeters. Now, the frequency for a pendulum is this formula, 1 over 2 pi, square root, acceleration of gravity, so it de does depend what planet you're on, divided by the length of the pendulum. Now for us, the frequency, I'll do it over here, the frequency of the long will equal 1 over 2 pi, square root, 9.8 meters per second squared, all divided by 0.18 meters. And the frequency of the short, same thing, but different length, all over 0 0.10 meters. And if we do that calculation, you'll get this answer of about 1.2 hertz for this guy and 1.6 hertz for that guy. So a frequency of 1.2 and a frequency of 1.6. Great. Let's do the experiment. So I will now turn on the amplitude. And as you can see, we're currently at 0.848 hertz. We need 1.2 hertz to make this guy resonate. So let's turn this up to 1.2. Notice that other frequencies don't do it, but when you get to resonance, well, you see the phenomena. Look at that guy go. And notice how the shorter string pendulum's not even moving. So now, let's go up further. Let's go up to 1.6, and you'll see that the long string is no longer in resonance, but the short guy is in resonance. Look at that. Resonance. Now, to end this video, we'll show you a little slow motion clip of a student of mine who breaks glass with sound waves, but he oscillates those sound waves at the exact resonant frequency of the glass.